Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. And this is gonna be one of the final videos that we make on this car, okay? Um, I'm basically all done with repairs. You know, the car is 95% perfect. You know, there's still some work that needs to be done, but um, all the majority and pretty much everything else was done on this car. So I'm gonna run you through all the stuff that I did and repaired on this car while I had it. Um, and yeah, other than that, everything is great. The car is amazing. I just test drove it not too long ago and uh, it's great. You know, I really love this car. So hopefully it's going to be a really nice gift for my dad and he will appreciate it and like it. So yeah. Also, I apologize for any wind noise that there might be. Uh, we're in Washington state and it's pretty windy over here. So um, anyways, let's get to the stuff and uh, I'll show you everything that I did and I'll show you how this car looks like right now. Stay tuned. I'm gonna start with front end first. Okay, so what was done is uh, these headlights were replaced and the fog lamps were also replaced. I replaced this grill and installed a, a nice, uh, good used grill. Okay, as well as this insert, you know, it's not broken, everything looks nice over here, you know, and also replaced a couple of these uh, chrome strips. Okay, also replaced this star okay, because the other one was like really faded. All right, same thing happened to this he headlight assembly. Okay, I replaced the fog lamps. Okay, they look really nice and also these. And uh, these are an H4 um, headlight assemblies. So long story short, like basically what happens is like, let's say your bulb goes out, you can, you can actually replace the bulb separately instead of replacing the whole uh, beam, okay? Because on the factory lines, there was a sealed beam that you would need to actually replace the whole sealed beam uh, instead of the bulb. But in this, in this case, my dad will be able to just replace the bulb in case it goes out. All right, also another thing what I did is while I had these out, I was actually like preserving everything behind the headlight assembly and behind the turn signal. Um, actually uh, sprayed fluid film in there and also grease that way nothing will ever rust in there all right the license plate bracket was also uh, removed restored okay I had to wire wheel the rust off and repaint that thing the thing looks really nice right now the left front fender molding has been also replaced because the other one was dented and looked really bad so i installed a brand new one next thing that i did to this car is i also um, had the uh, wiper assembly out because i was lubricating everything all the joints so the same thing was done to the wiper motor okay uh, so this whole assembly has been out before and uh, actually lubricated everything with grease uh, to make sure that the wipers last uh, another hundred years so very nice Next thing is the mirrors. Okay, the mirrors were frozen once I got this car. Right now, everything moves nicely. Uh, I'm about to show you how this operates. It's really nice and easy. Look at this thing, you see? No issues whatsoever. Before that, uh, it was actually really bad. So I had to take it all apart and lubricate that. I did the same thing to the uh, electric uh, mirror on this side. Okay, I lubricated it with ATF and right now it really moves it moves really good right now without any issues so that's a really big plus the sunroof uh was also lubricated all right i it moves back and forth really nice without any issues So what you just saw right now was the Bayway Isles. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing it right, but long story short, this car has a really rich history. It's pretty amazing. Uh, initially, this car was in Michigan, uh, United States, and then uh, it came to Florida. So it lived in Florida for like maybe 15 or 20 years. And then in about like 2010, it came to Washington state. And uh, today is 2021. So 11 years, uh, during the last 11 years, um, this car has lived in Washington state, which is pretty amazing. So, uh, and in a little while, this car is going to go to Europe. So this car is really going to have, a, it's going to have like a really, a, you know, adventurous and a rich history and travel as well. So that's pretty cool. I mean, um, you know, every car has its own history. So I always love to look back and see, you know, uh, where was, you know, the car purchased and where the car lived and all those years. and blah 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 so that's pretty cool i really like it i'm gonna keep that sticker on there okay um 
Did I mention that? Yeah, Bayway Isles, that's in Florida. Yeah, Florida. So, pretty cool stuff. All right, next thing that I did is the antenna was broken. So I fixed the antenna, replaced the antenna mast, and gasket as well. So right now when I turn the radio on, this is working, which I'll probably show you later. Next thing that was done is I had this rear bumper off because uh, I wanted to clean everything behind it and also preserve everything with grease and fluid film. That way nothing will ever rust uh, on this thing. Next thing is these tail lamps, uh, tail lamp assemblies were removed. They had, and I had to replace the seals that go around the tail lamps, the tail lights. So that was done. It's pretty awesome. Um, did the same thing to that uh, tail light. Now we're gonna go to the trunk. All right, there's a lot of stuff here, guys, because I'm actually shipping a lot of stuff uh, along with this car. And one of those uh, parts that I'm shipping is actually a cylinder head extra cylinder head a bunch of like you know like fluids and also this is a factory uh toolkit for this car so that's pretty awesome i really like that you know really factory toolkit and it's gonna come with the car and you know i'm also shipping him these restored bunt wheels all right they're really nice um right here okay so he's gonna get those as well uh and just a bunch of things guys actually you know just extra uh extra rear hub you know just in case who knows uh but yeah long story short we're going back to the trunk area okay as you can see right here i lubricated everything here with fluid film all right uh, also these license plate bulbs were replaced they're actually led they're really nice i'll probably show them uh, later so you guys can see um and then i had these uh trunk liners out on this car because i was uh, doing a lot of rust uh, preservation and everything with grease and fluid film and i just wanted to make sure that you know there was if there was any rust that i i would take care of it okay guys so yeah the trunk has received a lot of love as well and uh, also um i'm not gonna be able to show you right now but underneath there's a, a really nice beautiful factory spare with the jack and that factory spare is still original from 1985 and it, it's been barely used it had like even like those uh you know when the tires are made they actually have those uh you know stripe the striping that goes on the tires you know and that striping on that spare tire is actually not worn out whatsoever it's pretty cool all right next thing that i did is i painted this cap okay and then I replaced this seal okay, that goes around the trunk or the, the fuel tank neck. Alright, so that was done. Alright guys, interior really quick. Um, you know, um, I've done so much work to this car that I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget about a lot of things that I did. But you can always go back to my videos and check it out and see what i've done uh, but long story short uh this is the dashboard cover it's not complete yet okay this will my dad will finish it up or it will have to come out and just because we need to drill a hole here for the temperature sensor uh other than that everything is nice over here everything looks amazing all right um i lubricated or i actually like conditioned this uh interior at least once a week on this car so it looks really nice and protected okay i got these uh, beautiful floor mats okay from turkey actually okay and there's factory floor mats right there uh, a lot of stuff has been done to this car guys it's insane i mean i had to do a lot of cleanup and uh, this shifter was uh, replaced as well because the old one um, had bad bushings in it so it was loose so that was replaced uh, the radio is all nice and well working all right it's got a cassette in there as well with old school music and then cleaned all these switches up right here uh also replaced this switch because the old one was a little faded you know the triangle wasn't there anymore so i just wanted to refresh this okay clean this mat um had the cluster out refurbished the cluster painted the needles uh and stuff like that had the ignition cylinder out as well was lubricating that and uh you know just protecting preserving and i put it back together and i also got a brand new key for that so the car is gonna come with three keys in total uh then next thing is you know everything right here is all good um all the door panels were removed everything behind them was preserved and lubricated all right these 
uh, bottom doors were also protected and fixed there was some rust on uh, one of the other doors which I fixed okay and then protected with grease and fluid films good stuff guys and then the rest of the seal was actually lubricated in silicone paste uh, that was done to all the doors okay um, yeah guys good stuff and like I said you won't be able to see everything uh, because I have a lot of parts here uh, this is the hood pad that will still be, need to be installed uh, it's not a big deal okay as you can see I have everything covered here protected you know nothing gets damaged you know also fix these pockets right here they were sagging I did a bunch of stuff guys I mean it's it's pretty insane all right but I'm really happy about everything that I've done to this car so my dad will be happy 100% um and then also what i did i don't know if i mentioned but the seats i, I had the seats unbolted and um you know I, I was checking the floors and the floors actually in immaculate condition there was no issues uh, and i actually preserved the floors with grease and fluid film as well okay there's just some stuff right here as you can see i have this cardboard right here just because i want to protect those uh those mats okay those mats are really nice actually so beautiful all right guys we're gonna start with the rear suspension really quick here okay i just wanted to show you guys a couple things all right so here's what was done all right as you can see the exhaust and everything uh everything has been preserved with fluid film and grease okay and the exhaust i had the exhaust out i was actually uh, wire wheeling it from some of the rust and then i actually repainted the whole exhaust it looks really nice okay other than that everything right here is all preserved and good it's really awesome guys so i rec recommend for you guys to do the same thing your car will last another 100 years all right guys so here's the rear end okay as you can see i did a bunch of stuff right here okay uh, I refreshed these axles, I put new grease inside those axles and put new uh, uh, CV boots. I also repainted all the axles so they look really nice. The differential uh, side seals were replaced and also the rear covers were reinstalled and the differential was resealed and I also received a brand new fluid, fresh fluid. All right, and then control arms right here, the trailing arms, they were also replaced. Not replaced, but they were protected, preserved using grease next as you can see right there is flex disc because i replaced both drive shaft flex discs as well as the center support and bearing so that was also taken care of i used phoebe parts made in germany uh, good stuff okay um also as you can see right there i have a i replaced the uh, sway bar links both sway bar links and uh replaced uh, rear um, brake rotors and pads as well as brake calipers and brake hoses all right one more thing is i wanted to show you right there is your fuel tank uh, strainer so that was also removed and cleaned there was some buildup on it also replaced that uh, hose right there the rubber hose okay and those two rubber hoses on the other side on the driver's side were also replaced they go to the fuel tank there's just two rubber hoses as you can see, this car has really beautiful tires, okay? Good tires with uh, beautiful hubcaps, okay? So that was also done. As you can see, the wheel well was also preserved with grease and everything. This uh, thing will never ever rust, okay? So, really awesome. Also, if you can see right here, this was also preserved. All the jack holes were also uh, looked at and uh, they were also preserved with grease just to make sure nothing will ever rust okay especially around here they like to rust out all right guys the next thing is undercarriage right here as you can see everything was protected and preserved with grease and fluid film uh, you can look at that br beautiful exhaust uh, right there okay I really like the way it looks but everything right here has been preserved and protected with fluid film and grease good stuff this car will never ever rust guys i mean this is what uh this is the key this is like the best anti-corrosion stuff that you can do and put on your car uh, i really recommend that but yeah everything right here looks great looks amazing no problems whatsoever okay so really excited all right guys now i'm going to show you the front suspension 
and the stuff that was done to the front suspension of this car. All right, guys, you're looking at the front suspension of this car. So the whole front suspension has been removed before. It was all cleaned up. All the parts were cleaned up and painted, uh, protected, okay. Uh, right there, we have a lower ball joint. And the lower ball joint was, uh, the lower ball joints on, on this car were still good. So I left them the way it is, but I just replaced the boots on them and I re-greased them, all right. All the way there, we have brand new guide rod mounts, okay. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we have center, uh, brand new center bushing uh, right here on this lower control arm. Same thing goes to the other side. Whatever I mentioned on this side, I did the same thing to the other side, guys, okay? Uh, also, I replaced uh, front brake pads and rotors on this thing and installed brand new calipers and flexible brake hoses were also replaced. Good stuff. And also, uh, replaced the, we replaced the brake fluid on this thing as well. All right, next thing is uh, we also also replaced the lower control arm bushings on it, okay? And this car also received love for, you know, as far as the steering system. Okay, so it has brand new tie rods, uh, as well as uh, it has, um, you know, this the idler arm right there, brand new one. So this car received a lot of love. The whole steering uh, system was redone, okay? The only thing that I didn't replace was the I left the original factory springs and shocks. They're still good, okay? And there's up there, you can see the upper control arm, all right? Another thing that I did is you can notice right here on this guy is that uh, there's actually silicone paste. What I did is after replacing these parts, I put silicone paste on all the rubber parts. That way, uh, they, uh, you know, the boots are going to last forever. The silicone paste is good and safe for the rubber and it protects the rubber from rotting or going bad so it's really good stuff really recommend for you guys to do that okay uh the brown stuff as you can see that's not rust there's actually a copper paste i put on just to protect the threads all right okay right here there's your engine underneath that's how it looks uh we have a brand new oil pan gasket installed and also uh, the pan was all cleaned up and repainted. Uh, okay, we have the turbo drain right there replaced. Uh, brand new belts. Uh, I also replaced front crankshaft seal on it. Uh, did a bunch of work, guys. To be honest with you, um, uh, I replaced the alternator brushes, the voltage regulator. I mean, um, and then the rest I'm gonna just show you uh, from the top. All right, this bottom part of the car was also protected with the fluid film, as you can see. This is how everything is protected right here as well underneath. Uh, fuel lines and brake lines are also protected. Really nice, good stuff, no problems whatsoever. All right, guys, now let's talk about the trans really quick. The transmission oil pan uh, has been removed. I replaced the filter inside install a new seal on the uh, pan and the pan was also uh, you know the cleaned up and repainted and also put new fresh transmission fluid in there and we also have brand new upper and control arms on this thing on both sides okay and boots are also greased up with silicone paste to prevent wear in the future or rotting Alright guys, the alignment is off, 
You know, because I haven't done the alignment ever after I did the, all the suspension and stuff, so, you know. But uh, everything else is amazing. No suspension noise is nothing. Brakes are good. Pretty sweet. Woohoo! She feels great. Once again, I apologize for all the wind and I apologize for the mess inside the car just because there's a lot of stuff and parts and everything in there, okay? Uh, so other than that, it's awesome. I mean, uh, hopefully it doesn't start raining anytime soon uh, uh, so I can finish filming this stuff. But um, yeah, there she is. Everything is great. I just test drove it. You know, we're going to take some nice pictures right here. And, uh, it's going to be awesome, guys. It's pretty sweet. So. Um, other than that, you know, the, the car still needs some work here and there, okay? Still not perfect, okay? There's a, a rust hole that will need to be taken care of, but my dad will do that. Uh, I just never had time to do it. It's just a little bit right there, okay? So he will take care of that. Um, other than that, uh, in the future, we're gonna replace these uh, headlight doors, okay? Uh, we're gonna install new ones and stuff, so. That's uh, pretty awesome. I'm really excited, guys. But uh, like I said, uh, everything has been done. The majority of work has been done to this car. I'm about to show you the engine bay. And I'm uh, going to talk about the engine bay a little bit here as well. Just so you guys are familiar. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the playlist on this car, you know, be sure to check it out. Because I posted a lot of um, episodes and videos about this car over there. So make sure to check it out, guys. Other than that, uh, I really love looking at this machine what a beauty okay i used to make amazing cars back then so make sure you take care of your classic cars okay uh, other than that uh yeah like i said i'll take some pictures right now and we will be good to go okay tomorrow i'm shipping this car literally tomorrow uh morning and it's gonna, it's gonna be really early but it's gonna be a separate video on that so uh stay tuned and don't miss that out All right, guys, so the final thing that we need to talk about is this engine and just the engine bay in general, okay? Let me start with the battery, okay? The battery is brand new. It was replaced recently. Really, really good battery, okay? Made uh, in December 2020, okay? Uh, now, before doing, before replacing the battery, I actually, you know, I restored this battery tray. Okay, you, you can see a lot of grease in there, okay, because I was actually restoring it. I wire wheeled all the rust off and uh, everything and I saved this battery tray. It's all good, no issues with it. Primer did, uh, painted it and then also there was some stuff underneath. There was some rust underneath the battery tray so I had to take care of that as well. Okay, now we do have a fresh coolant tank. Okay, uh, we, the air filter, this is it gets really nice and clean. I painted this cover, okay, this lid. Um, what else did I do? Okay, there's a bunch of stuff that I, that was done to this engine, okay? Before I jumped on onto the engine itself, um, the brake fluid was also replaced on this thing, okay? So it has fresh brake fluid, and then the fuses are brand new. I replaced the fuses. Also, these all these vacuum hoses, rubber head vacuum hoses have been replaced, okay? I had to, there was a, this engine bay used to be really dirty, okay? So I actually cleaned everything up and, uh, you know, made it really pretty right now, okay? Um, and then what else so uh, anyways let's jump onto the engine okay so i'm gonna start with this side on this side of the engine what i did is uh i took out the oil filter housing i cleaned it all up i replaced the cylinder um, the oil filter housing gasket uh the engine itself uh you know has fresh oil in it as well as the oil filter that was replaced as well all these linkages have been removed cleaned and also uh lubricated with uh, grease okay um 
the engine has brand new five brand new uh, glow plugs okay they were replaced as well um i also did the diesel purge i did the fuel system cleanup so that was done as well replaced uh, this pre-filter as well as this main filter right here um then um also replaced these uh rubber hoses right here the braided ones okay the the return hoses uh this return hose was also replaced because the old one was the wrong size it was from a different car okay uh, and things like that uh let's see what else did i do okay as far as the power steering the power steering uh return hose has been replaced uh, i painted this cap i also replaced the filter uh inside the power steering pump um and i did the flush as well so it has a fresh fluid in the steering system all right now the engine uh, again the valve cover was removed i uh, cleaned and painted it with the high heat paint i really love the way it looks it's really nice and then uh, i replaced the valve stem seals on it as it has fresh valve stem seals i did the valve adjustment as well and replaced the valve cover gasket okay so that was done as well uh also the engine has brand new lm uh engine mounts both sides those were replaced um, next it has brand new belts uh, all the belts have been replaced it has a new water pump right there uh, all the cooling system uh, housings and everything have been removed cleaned and painted it has a new thermostat and gasket um, and then uh, also the vacuum pump was removed and they replaced the vacuum pump gasket and also painted the vacuum pump itself um, then on this side, uh, the GRO valve was removed and both intake and exhaust manifolds were removed and painted as well as cleaned. Uh, um, especially the intake manifold uh, itself was really bad on the inside, so it took me a while to clean that up, but I did it. Uh, also, what I did is I did the EGR, uh, you know, I painted the EGR valve, it was also gunked up, but I did the EGR delete kit, as you can see right there, that's the blockage okay so the vacuum is not gonna go into that vacuum pump uh or i'm sorry the egr valve so it's not gonna activate the egr valve and it's not gonna cause more issues with the oil sludge in the intake um side also as you can see the intake and exhaust manifold gasket right there was brand new replaced um and then i did remove the turbo but i didn't uh uh, you know, I wasn't able to actually rebuild it properly because uh, the middle section of the turbo was worn out and I didn't have it and the rebuild kit didn't have that either, you know, it just had like some seals and bearings and stuff. So I'm gonna have to come back to that. Actually, I'm shipping a separate, um, a brand new section of that turbo uh, along with the car. So my dad will take care of that, if anything. Um, then, uh, what else did I do? Uh, I replaced the timing chain tensioner spring. Okay, um, as, I, as I already mentioned, replace the uh, front crank seal and things like that. Okay, all these parts were cleaned up and just in general did a lot of maintenance as far as like lubrication and everything. Like all these good hinges were lubricated. All that C you see right there, it's, it's all fluid. It's basically protection against rust. It's really important. Okay. One more thing I forgot to mention is that um, it has a brand new Bosch starter right there. Okay, replace that as well. All right, and I cleaned this uh, banjo bolt right there that goes to the old uh, and switch over valve on the other side. Okay, so it, was, it was a little bit better. Okay, and once again, I apologize for the wind, you know, but this is the last day I need I uh, have to film this. Okay, so. Anyways, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting some things here and there, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, tell you what I've done. You know, I don't know if I mentioned, replaced the thermostat on it as well. Um, yeah, it's just mainly, it was just a lot of things to clean here and there. Like, like this, this firewall right there was all like dirty and everything from uh, all this stuff. So, but right now it looks really nice and pretty and I'm really happy about that. So yeah uh i don't know i'm like i said check out my playlist guys uh, and and you will know better what was done to the car and things like that because i'm pretty sure i'm forgetting something but you know just check out my playlist i have tons of videos uh, on this car all right guys well final drive with this thing 
so awesome i really love this thing wow well like i said you know there's still some things here and there that need to be done like alignment like i said you know this panel needs to be installed and everything guys but she's an awesome car i love this thing all right that's all pretty much there is to it i'm gonna park it right now and then tomorrow i'll come back and we're gonna we're gonna load it up onto the trailer and that's it guys oh baby you're gonna go home soon to your sweet home one final thing is let me show you the an antenna operation on this thing let me turn the radio on oops this one well i gotta find the station but long story short yeah let me show you the antenna Off. She's going down. All right, good stuff. Now let's try to play this awesome cassette. Woohoo! Awesome. That's it, guys. Good stuff. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting Vito's Garage. And, you know, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below what do you think. And don't forget to check out my playlist. I have a lot of playlists on my channel and just uh, a lot of cool videos about cars. So uh, there's always new content uh, every week. I try to post as much as I can. So thank you so much for all your support. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.